Okay. So um, oh, in number 15, so all you're looking at is looking at where they cross. So in number 15, um, we're just looking to see they cross at negative 3, 0. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what else. No, if it works, like they asked you about consistent and independent. Um, I'm not going to ask you something like that on the test. Don't stress about that. Um, but there's just the one solution where they cross. So then um, number 19 and 21, I'm going to put up some graph paper on the board so I can show you guys those. Oh, you know that officer that's in front of that email? Yeah, yeah. Officer Ryan. He talked to us today, but I have. He's a nice and then guy. at the end of it, I got it. He's a nice guy. Thank you. And then at the end of it, Mr. Gaff was like, "Do you want to talk to Roshi?" People ship him with Gaffy, but he has a girlfriend. And then he's like, "Should I go to Roshi?" He's like, "Don't do." It literally in the email, it looked, it sounded like he was encouraging. Like that's what I. The pictures, the really pictures, the picture sent me. Or Gaffy. I TP this school? Oh, so like students do. Um, just look at the cameras and then. I'm pretty sure everyone knows. I know, but we all now know you guys. Like, I know, I pretty much know everyone, like, the way they look with their masks on. So. Okay, so guys, um, so let's go through these, you guys, here. Um, so, number 19, I have to move this 3x over. Actually, I probably can move the y over, but. <laughs> I'm going to divide by negative 1. <laughs> so this becomes a positive 3x and then a negative 8. What? So I'm going to begin this at negative 8 on the y-axis. And I'm going to go, guys, up 3 and over 1. Up 3 and over 1. So there's our first line. Then the other line, I have to get the y alone as well. So this one, I divide by negative 1 again. This becomes a positive 1x minus 8. So they actually already meet at this point. Like, really be done. Or I can go up 1 over 1 as well. I wanted to actually draw the line. So they cross at that intersection of 0, negative 8. So that's our solution in that case. Uh, then number 21, again, I have to get it in slope-intercept form. I'm going to move this x over. I get 2y equals negative x plus 6. And divide by 2. So this will be a negative 1 half x and then plus 3. Um, so that becomes a fraction there. So I start at 3 and go down 1 over 2. And up 1 back 2. And my other line is 2x plus y equals 9. I'm going to move this 2x over. So this one I'm going to begin at 9. And then go down 2 and over 1. Down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. And there we hit. So it's not good. One, two, three, four, and up one. So hopefully you guys made a mistake. You figure out where you went wrong. Great. Any other questions from this? So we're going to go through the other methods of solving systems of equations um, here. And so um, we're actually going to do the next section over the next couple of days because um, they do kind of two different methods in the same section. So we'll. We'll kind of break it into two days here. So,
I kids eat 20 chicken nuggets in one sitting. They don't have like the frappuccino things like the. It's always cleaning. No. Like, always cleaning. Every is just cleaning. Every no. Every no. Every no. Every you cleaning. go there in the drive thru, your order is always wrong, too. I'm pretty sure you have to say something. Well, we don't have a smoothie machine, so we'll never get to the They probably tell you that in the training. Always the ice cream machine is always broken. The ice cream machine is really broken every single day. <laughs> I think they tell you that in and training for the job. If anyone asks, it's, it's always broken. Yeah, we've never broken. Okay. All right. The ice cream machine is very clear. It's never broken. No. So, okay. So, guys, yeah, go um, again, we're going to be doing um, the next couple of days, we're going to be doing section three, two, both of the days um, because they kind of whip through a lot of stuff all in just those one days and uh, are in the one section. So, I broke it up into two different days. Um, so we talked about solving systems by graphing already. That's what we did last class. We'll talk about substitution today. Um, we'll learn elimination tomorrow, um, which you've seen again before. And then we'll learn a new method that I believe on Thursday. So, um, or later. Can't, yeah, I think we'll get to that later. So um, they want you to find the value of y of x is negative 2. Um, and they give you an equation. So essentially what you're doing here is substitution. You're substituting in the negative 2 for x. So we get negative 6 minus 7, which gives us a negative 13. So essentially that's the basis behind substitution. That's what we're working on there. Um, we're going to now just take that, obviously, new text first. And again, this should be reviewed. Um, I don't think you guys... We're probably too bad at it when you guys are in algebra, but it's been a while. So, um, so, yeah, this is kind of going over what we talked about so far. So this is just another way to solve systems. So this doesn't, um, this isn't like to do a different type of problem. We can solve this by graphing, or we can do substitution. So what we want to do first. Is if we're solving by substitution, is we want one of the variables alone. So we want to get at least one variable alone in one of the equations. <laughs> we 
want to get a variable mode in one of the equations. So in this case, we have our equation. That's cool. So that's done in step, like this is already done for us here. So step one is done. We have a variable alone in that top equation. So what we're going to do a substitution. Is we're going to take that equation and substitute it into the other one in place of y. So I know y is 4x minus 6. We're going to replace that in the other equation for the y value. Replace the variable in the other equation. I'm going to remind you guys to use parentheses. Spell oh, parentheses. Parentheses. Did you put use parentheses in parentheses? I did, yeah. Parentheses. I know. Parentheses. 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 Like, they use the easier word yes. now. And um, parentheses can also spell, be spelled with an IS at the end. Parentheses. So, I have 5x plus 3. Instead of y, I'm going to put 4x minus 6. So, I'm replacing that y value with 4x minus 6. Oh, sneaky. Because now we're done to just one variable. So we've gotten rid of the y in that equation, and we're down to just a single variable, which is just x. Hopefully that looks familiar or seems familiar. So we're going to solve that new equation. I'm going to distribute this 3 in. This will be a negative 18. So, once we know x is 1, which we went ahead and solved all the way through, once we know that, we still have the last step is we have to go back and find the other variable. So once I know x is 1, I have to substitute that back in to find the other variable. one and substitute that back in to one of those top equations. I like using the one that I used in the very first step, so the y equals 4x minus 6, because y is already alone. So if I put the 1 in, it's a little bit easier to work with then. It kind of becomes like the warm-up question then. I didn't even feel it. Like 
like, like, I didn't even feel myself. Your fur boots there. Yeah. Yeah, your word girl boots. Okay. Oh, my so, boots. so, the next one, guys, same idea. We already have a variable alone. So, this y, that's going to go in place of the other y. Now, this one's even a little bit easier because the y doesn't have anything it's being multiplied by in the other equation. So we don't even really need the parentheses or to distribute it all, but we can use them anyhow. Um, so I get 2x plus this negative 4x plus 12. Now again, the parentheses in this case aren't really necessary, so we're not really distributing anything in, but it doesn't hurt just to be in the habit of using them. So like nothing changes there, so I'm just going to leave it out. So I'm ready to solve for x now. So x ends up being 5. Once we know x is 5, again, we have to go back in and find that other variable. So I, again, I like substituting it back into the one I used in that first step. So we end up with a negative 8 then, I think, for our y value. You are correct. Thanks, Abby. What, Kinsey? What? All right, stop laughing at me. So, I will warn you guys with this the next one. I'd be careful um, to be a little bit smart about this next one because first of all, there's no variables alone yet. So we're gonna have to do something to get a variable alone. And I'm gonna tell you guys, we don't always want y alone. Y is not always the most efficient variable to get alone. Does anyone see what I'm talking about here? What variable would be easier to get alone? X. The X in that top equation. If you actually got the y alone in either of these, you'd end up with fractions. And I think the majority of you guys would prefer not to have fractions if you had your choice. Um, you know, if you love your fractions, you're like, give me all the fractions, you can do that. But what I would choose to do in this case is because x doesn't have a coefficient, I would get the x alone. So I would move that 2y away and actually solve for x first. <laughs> so I would have this equation to work with, which is a lot nicer than something with a bunch of variables in it. So be a little strategic with yourself. I mean, now if you're really good with fractions and it works out, it's perfectly fine. But again, there's just so many places to make mistakes then. So this one became this now. I'm moving that 2y over. Now that I have y alone, or sorry, x alone, I can substitute this back in, but this time it's going in for x, not y. So I have three times this 2y minus 3 plus 5y equals 24. I'm substituting that 2y minus 3 in. We have 11y minus 9 equals 24. this 9 over. So 11y equals 33. We can find out that y would be 3. Once I know y is 3, I still have to go back in and find my x value. 
So I have to take this Y and put it back in up here. So it'll be 6 minus 3. So X is actually 3 as well. Do you guys just want to finish notes and then do our kahoot, or do you yeah. want to um, take yeah. a break right now? Finish notes? Okay. And our kahoot is a math review, so, um, or like it's solving systems, so um, it is. There's some fun questions in there. All right. Now, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you watch Austin now? Yeah. Oh, I feel like there's a roller girl on that. I know that you word girl. She said yeah. roller skates? Yeah. No, that's the. That's, you think it's super wide. Super wide. Oh. Yeah. Super wide. Yeah. That's what the pig. Like yeah. That's like a pig. Oh, 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 it's yeah, the yeah, three yeah. little kids and then a pig in a construction hat. <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> totally. Like, I love PPS. I really like Marcus Speed. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> All right. And she had some out for so, <laughs> Okay, guys. The next one's kind of a strange one. Both Y's are already alone. Now, it actually is a lot easier, but you might overthink it. So I don't have to move anything around. I already have a Y alone. So what am I going to do? So yeah, go ahead, Ethan. Just enter one of the, we'll just do the top one and the bottom one. Yeah. So that just goes in place of the other y. Oh. So that just replaces that y. And 2x plus 8 equals 2x minus 3. Now this also is kind of weird in this case. What happens? They cancel each other out. There's 2x on each side. So I get 8 equals negative 3. So what's true of that kind of solution? What do we say about that? Does 8 equal negative 3? No, no. Solution. no. So we say it's no solution. So the 0 with the line through it is our no solution, our empty set. Um, there's no answer that works for that. All right, so this next one, which variable would you get along? I would get the x alone in the top equation again because it doesn't have that coefficient. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I get x equals 2y plus 3. So that is going to go in place of x in the other equation. Doing those again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you okay with just having homework time? Yeah. All right, but we're going to do a Kahoot. So, uh, uh, those of you guys online, I'm going to leave you guys online for the Kahoot. Um, you guys might want scratch paper or a whiteboard if you prefer. Is there going to be some math to do? Whiteboard, scratch paper, something? Uh, Thanks you. Yeah. Okay. Why? Just wondering. 
I don't know what my shadow is supposed to come. You're not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here? It's just right. that you were leaving for XC. That you were leaving for XC. I swear. <laughs> it's in its head. Yes. I swear. It said here and it said you. Or it said Hartman M and I saw them. Unless the boys have to leave for soccer early. But I doubt it. But it's that random link, so. I swear it says that. Check your inventory. Oh, 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 my phone locked. I can't. You want to solve that equation for why? What would this look like? Oh, why did it take me 40 years to do that? No, I think you did it wrong. Yeah. I was too focused on one and the other. I can't see. So you have to put the 4x over, so you have to subtract it. I didn't even see that. I thought that was fun. I'm behind Caitlin. I'm tired of Caitlin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, she could be doing mental math though. Maddie kicked it again, that's why. I'm sorry guys. I apologize. No, you did it on purpose. Yeah, that's because they said they couldn't see it. Yeah, those of you guys online can do this in real time. Chicken noodle soup. Okay, why is what? All right, so guys, on this one, let's talk about it. You have to move the 3x over. Uh, so I get 4y equals the negative 3x plus 12. Let's divide by 4. So that's negative 3 over 4, and then this is 12 over 4. Just that makes more sense. So it's not over yet. Yeah, can you start over? No, I'm just pretty good. Can you start over? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah, hang on. Can we start over? No. Why not? Now they're making me. I mean, Ryan, you're doing so Ryan. good. So am I. I am Ryan. You're no. Ryan, I'm coming for you. It's anybody's game still. It's Ryan, sure. Except for the five that haven't got any questions wrong. Oh, I'm coming for you, Ryan. I'm coming for you. Yeah, Ryan, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Me in 18th place. Because I wasn't looking. I'm really down both wrong, Ryan. So, what does this one look when you solve for Y? Okay. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Abby, what are you doing? Should I have plenty of time? Like a full minute. Why is mine oh, stuff like this? this? Ah, oh, Maddie. Ha 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 ha. Can we start doing this? Oh gosh. I'll rejoin. Oh, I'm going to 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 rejoin. I'm exiting the game. I'm going to rejoin. I'm going to rejoin. It's probably because you're supposed to leave early. Yeah. Is it not saying I'm supposed to leave early? Yes, it did. It's a tear up. Yeah, and it says what's in I think it's waiting on Maddie. Anyone else? Yeah, sorry, guys. It's okay. Well, it's waiting on Maddie. It's a game. It's 7722. Okay, much better, you guys. So, yeah, this one, move the X over and divide by 2. Oh, I jumped two spots. Let's go. <laughs> You're the highest climber, Dylan. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, Dylan. Dylan. I'm, a, I'm a genius machine. That's why it's still loading. Oh, shoot. This is oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. How I know this? We'll be, we'll like, be like, school. School. yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping this is from the right time of year. <laughs> I'm so, so in the fall, you roll it back. I'm 17 at like this. 17? Oh, yeah. You're too behind me. Hey guys, we're going to solve the system for x. So you're just trying to find the x value. So, you have two minutes. Oh, snap. My phone locked. <laughs> Use your scroll button. Mine's still button. loading. Well, I'm just do the problem it. and don't focus. I must have accidentally hit something. Oops, oops. I'm a classroom perfection question mark. Oh, your genius question mark? I'm a genius machine question mark. I'm here. I'm not a genius machine. Short pain question mark? Yes. They really just eat them. I'm really scared for the genius. Raccoons are scary. <laughs> Okay. I think they're cute. Yeah, they have to show you something cool that me and it actually makes me die. What is something about raccoons? I feel like red squirrels are invasive. Did Kansas ask you how the raccoon was? No, I told her to ask you that in advance. Oh, I I saw three dead raccoons on the other side. It must be raccoons hitting season. Yeah. I saw three dead wild? raccoons on 57. That wasn't me. In the wild? <laughs> is it on there? Is it on there? It's a little better than the only clean resources in my urban areas. Yeah, gray squirrels. I know, like, like, I'm okay, guys. Aware. So, in this one, so you guys, so you have to substitute this here. Oh, look for it. So then you move the X over. Guys. And then you move the 20 over, so that's how we end up with 7. So it's 3x equals 21. 13th place, buddy. 18th place, baby. 19th place. 4th place. Nine. 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 Wow, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. 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 Ryan.
<laughs> solve for y, same idea. You're substituting first, and then you're going to find the y value only. You don't have to worry about x. So. Oh, wait, I did it wrong. I know. Can I a smart question? I meant to hit the other one. Dang it. I sometimes participate in the radio station one, but this year I didn't have. I don't know why the book is crazy short. Why is our homework so short? Did you see that? Um, yeah. Yeah, you don't, have to <laughs> you don't have to change it. They're kind of long problems. Yeah, because you got to do like two and one. It might be like 20. And then I also realized that sometimes our lessons are short because I realized it was like for a Wednesday last year. We had short Wednesdays. Oh, oh, yeah. I love that. I'm glad we didn't bring that back. I like them on Friday. Yeah. Yeah, on Friday that was Because it made the day go by so fast and then you could just be super chill. I'm behind Gates for Mario. I am. Yeah, I knew I hit the wall. What do birds give out of Birds? Birds. If it's a joke. It's a Nice one. Was this one worth points? Yeah. Ryan was leaving. Oh, Kate, sorry. Okay. What did you think it was? Abby, stick it on. So they're telling you guys why you've negative one. They want you to find x. So they're giving you the value of y is negative one. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. This doesn't give you much time on this one, you guys. <laughs> I just got it. I guess two. I was three, two, one. Dang it. So all you're doing is no, putting negative head. one in. Why? <laughs> Killing it. Right, killing it, yeah. Killing the green. Call for X. Yeah. 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 Is it negative one or one? Is it negative one or one? Oh, I'm behind Meg. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've heard this one before. I think it's Definitely Christian. No. I think it's Christian music, actually. Oh, I hate that music. So the boogie mummies. On volume. I should like that kind of music. It's your mom, Garrett. That's what you call her. Oh, mummies. You're a mummy. Like ancient Egyptian. There you go. They're ancient Egyptian. Kinsey, can they, you guys all think Kinsey right now? Right. What? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Abby's <laughs> guys, you have two minutes to solve for X. Oh, no. To solve for X, they don't need Y. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. da 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 no, yeah. Why is everything so heavy? 
Bye guys, have a good rest of your day. <laughs>